Welcome back once again. I'm with Bruce Porter at Resource Center. We're going to talk about the impact of volatility on your money and your retirement. And there's a decade not long ago that you probably remember the 2000s. Well, when you go back and look at the lost decade of investing. The lost decade says it all. That's what it's referred mm -hmm. to in the investment world. From 2000 to 2009, there was an average rate of return in the stock market of minus 1%. So people think about growth, growth, growth. They think about the opportunity for growth. Mm -hmm. so, so for example, if you're approaching retirement, and you're within 10 years and you're focused on growth, 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 and we repeat that type of a decade, you're going to retire with less money than you had 10 years previous. Mm. So that's, and so you got to remember when you're contemplating your retirement date, mm -hmm. you got to start mitigating your risk and looking at the math. Math doesn't lie. It's right. a science that is pure. So you got to look at uh, the the highs, the lows, the averaging, things like that. So that's what you've got somebody like us to analyze what should I do. So if you started with $100,000, like it shows right here, look at what happened over the decade of the 2000s. That's right. So you look at 2000, what happened? 2000, 01, 02. The market dropped 43% in three years. So you look at the balance after three years, you had $62,000 in your account if you started with 100 grand. Now in the fifth year, it went up the fourth and fifth year, 26 and 10%. Mm -hmm. So you're back up to 89 grand, but you're five years in, you're still down. Yeah. Now go all the way down to the 10th year. Mm -hmm. You had five years of growth before 08, and then the financial crisis and if you're going to retire at the end of 09, mm -hmm. you just, you felt better because you got 26% growth, but you still had 90 grand, not 100. That's not good. Four years in that 10 year period makes a big difference. Sure. Now, what if you could just simply have no loss and only half of market growth? Would you accumulate more money? And you look at the right side of this graph, those first five years, not a lot of growth, but you had some. You were up to 120,000 mm -hmm. at the end of the fifth compared to 80,000, uh, 89,000 over on the market side. Now you go down to the 10th year. Same four years, instead of losses, we had zeros. Now you got 155 grand, not 90. So when you look at the math, that lost decade of investing mm -hmm. referred to in the, in the financial world. Right. Yeah, it was a lost decade because we only averaged 5.5% and we had no fees and no risk to our balance. And I would accept that any day of the week, uh -huh. 10 years prior to retirement. So volatility makes a huge difference when you're contemplating your retirement date. Mm -hmm. And I just encourage people, give me a call and we can develop a strategy so you can mitigate that risk. And that is what the takeaway is today. All right, Bruce Porter will help you think outside of the box too. Give him a call. For customized financial solutions that help protect your assets and pursue a confident future for you and your loved ones, contact the Resource Center at 417-882-1800 or resourcecenterinc.com.